Hello, this tutorial is going to be all about Gmail. Uh, this is Max with A1WebsitePro.com. I've had uh, several different clients ask me about the new features and so on and so forth. So I figured I would do a complete tutorial uh, so that people can, well, mostly complete. There's a lot of uh, different features in Gmail, but I'm going to go over a few here. Uh, number one, you could set the theme of your Gmail. And if you go go to click the little, click the little gear box, you'll come down here to themes, and you'll be able to click something maybe you like. You know, well, um, if you like graffiti planets, uh, you know, and then you could go into your uh, you know put a custom theme, custom dark, custom light, and uh, but right now maybe uh, let's see here. I like the ocean, so maybe I'll just click ocean right now. Now, uh, right now, I'm going to put my city in here, which is Boardman, Ohio. And so, then that way, it will be, uh, you know, designed towards my uh, my weather or whatnot. And then the different features in uh, Gmail, you know, mark my location. So, depending on where I'm at. So that's how you can change a theme. That's that's a little light. So let me let me go with something a little bit darker. Uh, I'm gonna go back down to themes here, and maybe I'll choose mountains. I like mountains too. So okay, there we go. But we'll come back. We'll come down here, and maybe we'll go to our inbox. Okay, so now we have these different tabs up here. Uh, if you don't like these tabs and just want everything go to your primary, see this little button, this plus button here. You could show uh, what to hide, what not to, you know, and what to leave. If you want everything go to your primary, you just click that. You'll see that now everything is just going to your primary inbox. Okay. So notice that the the tabs have been switched off. Click the setting box and choose configure inbox to bring them back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring them back. And we'll have social promotions, updates, and forums. And then I'm going to click OK. OK, now how this is read is if something's come from, coming from a social network like Google Plus or uh, Twitter, Facebook, you know, you'll get LinkedIn, you'll get them them here. Promotions, this is kind of like, uh, that's, I, I would have to say it's pretty close to spam mail, but, uh, you know, a lot of times there's, there's different things that we subscribe to. I know that in... My uh, my regular email that I subscribe to, you know, updates for car deals and so on and so forth. Updates. Let's say that you have a blog or possibly something with, you know, Google AdWords, uh, and then you know you you subscribe to updates. This is where your your feed would come. Maybe you subscribe to a feed burner or so on and so forth on a site. That's where that would come from. And then forums, you know, is basically, you know, any forums that you're talking on, maybe WordPress.com or your buddy's uh, forum website, you'll get you, get those emails in there. And then, of course, everything else will come here. And then the spam, if you ever need to access your spam mail, sometimes whenever uh, we send out emails, sometimes it will go to people's spam folder. So you come down here and check the spam folder, and you see that I, I have no spam in this because this is a relatively new uh, email inbox. Now, what, let's say that uh, there's there's some different things that that you can do. Uh, number one, if you have a domain, like uh, I have Max at A1 Website Pro, I have you know Max at uh, uh, Google Website Pro. Let's say that I wanted to set this up. Well, I created another tutorial, and I'll put it in this description. It's called Domain Email with Gmail, and that would be in uh, my YouTube video there, and. Uh, I'll make reference to this one, but this goes into sh setting up your cPanel and then ultimately bringing in the, the email and setting it up in your Gmail so you can send, send and receive uh, in Gmail as if you were, uh, you know, Max A1 Website Pro. In fact, I'll get on my other uh, email account here and I'm going to compose an email and I'm going to select, uh, like I'm sending it from uh, Max at A1 Website Pro and I'm sending it to this Maximus up close at gmail.com. I'm just going to put uh, test as the subject line and test and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and send that. Now you'll see that I got an update. So uh, the, you know, there's I, I send out a lot of uh, emails from uh, 
the A1 website probe. So this would come to my updates. But let's say, uh, because it's, it's coming from the website, as you can see, it's come from Max at A1 website pro. Now I'm not sure, but let's see if I send it from my regular email, my regular Gmail inbox, Maximus up close. Okay. Now this is test two, test. And I'm sending it on another browser. And you notice that this comes to my primary email uh, box because it's kind of like a, a personal email. So anything that you get from like a, a website domain, you'll get here. Anything like from like a Gmail, you'll get here. And then of course, if you get something from uh, social networks, you'll get there. So that's 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 how this works. Now, <clears throat> let's say this. Uh, you know, you wanted to star something, or market is important. That's what these little stars are for. And it, you know, if you click on the star. It, you know it'll highlight that and then if you archive this archiving is a great thing to do because it keeps your mailbox clean you just uh, uh, tick this little box here and click archive now that doesn't mean that it's gone from your email that just means that it's archived and if we go over here to starred you can see that this email that I start is still there so everything that's important but you don't want it cluttering up your email inbox all, all the time you could start it and you know put it put it over there or mark it as important and that's what this little thing is right here well maybe we'll start but we won't mark it as important so now if I go to the important file it's no longer there but if I go to the start file it is still there okay so that's that's just another way that you can personal you know customize it and personally organize it for yourself now let's say that uh, you know uh, let's go back to our inbox and let's go over to this update and let's say that everything that we get from this max at a1 website pro.com we wanted to create another folder over here so that we can make sure that you know we put his maybe we don't want to delete this person's maybe it's an important email so there's there's a couple different ways we can do it now this is the easiest way that I found to show people what you'll do is you'll tick this little box and it says forward messages like these and it's gonna bring up a dialogue here so <clears throat> that and then you can see anything that we get from max at a1 website pro okay now we can have some uh, uh, some other variables maybe it's addressed to Sally Joe or Tom or or maybe it contains something in the subject or has a certain amount of words you know uh, a syntax of phrases or maybe if it doesn't have you want to do something with this okay so right now you're customizing all your variables if it contains or doesn't contain this information we're gonna send it to a folder okay or maybe it has an attachment or don't include chats so let's go ahead and create a filter with this search okay now we can say we could tell Gmail hey listen I want you to skip this in my inbox just archive it and it'll put it in this label that we choose for it or you could just go ahead and mark it as red or star it because you want to star everything that comes from this person right here because you know you want you want to be able to you know look at that later and, and make it important Let me... so with all this we have a bunch of different things that we can do um, you can also like if you want uh, the the emails coming from Max at A1 website pro to be forwarded to another email address you would be clicking this box right here or if you want to delete it you could delete it or never send a spam you know maybe you have uh, a billing stuff that's coming in and, and you want to make sure that or just maybe a paychecks coming in or something you never want to send it to spam or uh, maybe from this particular person you want to always mark it as important or never mark it as important you know because uh, important labels get marked on on different emails or you can you know choose a category you can categorize it as something uh, so that it shows up in a, a, a different label other than the label that is coming through but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put it to another folder or label and so we're gonna apply it to a label and we're gonna put new label and what we're gonna do is just put Maximus here and then just create and then we can also apply it to the matching conversations that are already in our email inbox and click create folder now you notice it created another folder over here called Maximus so whenever we type whenever we click on that we see that this is available okay 
Now, <clears throat> there's you can make uh, multiple uh, 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 filters. For instance, let's say uh, Google this Google Plus. Maybe we want to filter it its results, and we want to uh, take everything from no reply at Google Plus or whatever. And we want to create a filter with a search result. Maybe we want to apply it um, to Maximus, or maybe we want to create a new label and type Google Plus there. And maybe we want to nest it under Maximus. And that would take all of the uh, things coming in from Google Plus and nest, nest them under the Maximus. So let me show you what that would look like. So now you see we get this little arrow beside here. And when we click that arrow down, we see that the Google Plus emails are now being archived, archived in this folder, okay? Now, <clears throat> when things are in these folders here, they're not archived. You notice this is still here. But this little message here tells us it's in Maximus Google Plus. So we could always be, feel safe to archive that kind of information because we know that we have it saved down here in Google Plus. See, we can see that it's still there. So archiving does not mean deleting. Deleting means deleting. So if you, I'm in a habit of you know archiving all my messages from my clients and you know my friends and everything. But as far as you know the 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 spam and the uh, the the bad emails, I'll delete them. Or if I know that something's totally unimportant. Now another great feature with Gmail is this little search here. I tell you what, this has saved me a lot of time. And if you know how to use it, it's just it's a real time saver. Now one of the things, uh, if you search test, this will show us all the emails that have the word test in it. Okay. But now let's say that you're looking for an email. Do you notice how it says um, this is test two right here? So maybe you have test in a bunch of emails, and there be like nine thousand emails. But you know that that there's another email out there. Um, okay, let me let me search test because okay, this is test. Okay, so if we type in this is test and hit enter you notice that every email that ha contains any one of these words this is test is revealed and you're not looking for that you're looking for a syntax that says this is test so what do you do well what, all you have to do is put this in quotes if you put this in quotes and you remember a certain phrase and click search you notice this is test shows up so that's a really helpful thing because if you have a common word and you you remember the combination of the word but you don't quite uh, remember you know maybe just a certain section you could type that but put it in quotes so you don't get all of you know this all the results for this or is test you just get that one particular re search result which is a which is a great way to to utilize your uh, your Gmail now if we go down here uh, where it says circles um, you can see what this is is the people that you have in your circles right now I have a uh, following so I'm following myself on another uh, thing so we could see here that uh, you know I added myself back on on, on Google Plus there from my other account so what what, what you want to do is you know you, you could categorize people in different areas like maybe I want to put uh, under friends or family or or maybe you know multiple categories so uh, whenever you do that uh, let me show you what happens here it'll categorize that particular person on, in the appropriate category so this is all about your social network platforms uh, Google Plus and and what happens within there okay um, this little section right down here is really cool because um, <coughs> if you have a Google Voice number or something like that, you can you can hit this little uh, phone call thing, and you can actually start typing in the name of somebody, you know, and and here, hold on, let me see here. We're typing in a phone number three three zero four five five eight five eight five, and then click call, and they'll call that phone number. Uh, but what we'd ha what you'd have to do is activate your phone calls and hangouts. Click on accept. But now I have it on my other account, so I don't have to worry about that. 
Okay, now a lot of people aren't aware of this, but there's a chat feature if you, as long as you have Google Hangouts in here, and you can see this little quotes that's, that makes makes re, Google Hangouts reveal itself there. So let me send a, a little chat request to myself on my other account and say hi there, Max, just like that, and you'll notice you get a little sound there. I don't know if you heard it or not, but you can see that right here. I'm chatting with myself and uh, so I could say something back like uh, H H H H and so there's me chatting with me okay back and forth and you can see the two things so it doesn't matter if the person's on the other side of the world or not you could chat back and forth so <clears throat> but here's another interesting thing about the Gmail see this H H H let's say years go by and man I remember whenever uh, I was chatting with myself and the word H H H was uh, typed up there well, we could go to our Google Plus paste in H H H when we click search we could see that there's chats that all the chats are saved I was chatting with Maximus and he said H H H H so that's another way you can utilize the search tool it's really cool and, and I tell you what it's a good time saver especially whenever you're trying to look for uh, I think the other day I was looking for a, uh, a a key for my Microsoft Office and it was a long time ago that I bought it so just started typing in Microsoft Office key in the quotes and uh, well voila there it was so this this is a something that's going to save you a lot of time energy and probably a lot of money if you learn to use it and learn to use it right so here here's a record of all your chats that you've chatted with people and if you want to go just go to all mail you want to see what all mail happened there you go if you want to check out your spam now maybe what you trashed in the past 30 days and then we have categories so uh we have our different categories let me stretch this out so how many is in our social promotions updates and forums and if we go to inbox we find that this is the same thing primary social promotion updates and forums so there's a lot of good things that you can utilize on Google Plus I think that's about it for this lesson here um, I hope that I've I've showed you how to use Gmail more efficiently uh, I will also embed the uh, the other PowerPoint how to include your other accounts in here and your settings but you can import other accounts uh, you know like Max at A1 website pro you notice it's not a Gmail so we can add that here but I have already created a lesson on that and a lesson on adding your POP3 email account and I'll include it in the description of this video okay thanks a lot for listening bye